no matter where you work or what job you may have, it is an imperative that you safeguard the material that you have been entrusted to protect. This becomes more important when you start working with classified, proprietary, or highly sensitive personal information. Properly handling of sensitive, proprietary, or highly classified material becomes very difficult if you work within a cluttered environment. Well, I can see here that Arthur is not a strong believer in personal organization and his sanitary habits are atrocious. We in the security office enforce what we call the clean desk policy. What does that mean? It means I better not come into your office space and find proprietary, classified, or highly sensitive personal material on your desk exposed to those who may come by and are not cleared for the material. And oh, by the way, I don't want to have to be like your mother and come in and tell you to remove the clutter and the garbage and the trash off your desk. Not only does it help us keep the rats away, but it also helps us to ensure that our proprietary, sensitive, and classified material is properly secured. What the? Oh. Arthur has left us a treasure trove of personal identifying information, commonly known as PII. Social security number, his cell phone number, prescription medication. Doctor's name. What else am I going to find? And there's a ton of embarrassing information about Arthur on his shopping list. Well, he's got eggs, bread, milk. Those are the usual things that we pick up at the store. But anti diarrhea medicine? Mm. Stool softener? That's weird. Season six of Stargate? Chips? Soda? Shoe polish, hemorrhoid cream. I think we'll stop right here. Oh, hope that's the last rat we find. Arthur left a ton of information here about himself, his family, where he lives, on his magazines, and last but not least, sensitive classified information. Anybody in the facility, from a janitor, maintenance worker, or somebody who is not appropriately cleared for the material could have come and taken this information and used it. At the end of the day, it's apparent I've learned way too much about Arthur. Arthur and his bowel habits, Arthur and his co-workers, and Arthur's inability to maintain a disease-free workspace. Arthur will soon be explaining the condition of his workplace to a supervisor, the HR department, and God forbid we have to bring in the health inspector. And then he's going to have to explain to the inquiry officer why he left this classified document on his desk, unsecured. Next thing you know, he's losing his clearance. And then he has to go home and tell his wife, Heck, I ain't got a job anymore. Don't be that guy.